Everyone, a nearly 50 year cold case has been closed in the city of Springfield, but a whole lot of questions still remain. Welcome to Western Mass News at noon. I'm Taylor Jacobs. Now we are working on getting you more answers. This after the Hamden District Attorney Anthony Galuni announced a former priest is believed to be responsible for the death of an altar boy who was killed decades ago. The body of 13 year old Danny Crudeau was found in the Chicopee River back in 1972. Now on newly released tapes, defrocked priest Richard Devine never directly admits to killing uh, Crudeau, but he does say that they were together on the riverbank when he, uh, Levine, uh, assaulted the boy and pushed him into the water. Danny served as an altar boy at St. Catherine of Siena Parish, where Levine was a parish priest. And breaking at this hour as well, there are calls for the Diocese of Springfield to release the files of the almost 50-year-old cold case. Our Western Mass News reporter, Beseda Lana Verde, joins us live at this hour where that rally is happening. Beseda, what have you learned? All right, Taylor, well, that rally just wrapping up a few minute, minutes ago right here outside of the Diocese of Springfield. Now the organizers wanting more answers on what exactly happened to Danny and sharing a powerful message asking Bishop William Byrne to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Now on Monday, the Hamden District Attorney's Office released audio recordings of former priest Richard Levine confessing he was the last person to see Danny alive in April of 1972. Galuni said, based on the audio recordings, a letter and a letter to B. Levine, they would have had enough information to convict him of murder if he had not died on Friday. Now, Road to Recovery, a nonprofit organization, is calling on the Diocese of Springfield to release any information they have on the case and any other secret files of other clergy sexual abusers they know of. We're still outside on the sidewalks of a Catholic church, a Catholic diocese, asking a bishop to be open, honest, and transparent. And it's not coincidental, ladies and gentlemen, that the information yesterday was delivered not by the church, but by civil and criminal authorities. The Diocese of Springfield telling Western Mass News they will be responding later today. Now, the Hampton District's office has set up a sexual abuse hotline. For more information, head to westernmassnews.com. Stick with us both on air and online as we continue following this story. For now, reporting live in Springfield, Brisa Delanda Verde for Western Mass News.